Hey, how's everyone doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We have an awesome video planned for today with a giveaway at the end, so just stay tuned. My name is Ryan, and for those of you who do not know me, I'm a part-time eBay reseller. What that means is I go to garage sales and thrift stores, I buy things, and then I flip them for profit on eBay. It's Tuesday today. I'm not really sure when you guys are going to be seeing this, but I have about 15 orders ready to be pulled and packed. So let's get right into it, shall we? All right, so we're going to start everything off with a hat sale, the blue one. So for those of you who are new to my channel, these are 511 Tactical Hats. I bought 1,700 of these for $400 from an old boss of mine. So each hat only cost me 23 cents. Yeah, you heard that right. Less than a quarter for each hat. I have them listed for $13.99, but for this one, I took a best offer of $9 with free shipping. And we have yet another hat. This time a tan one, which is the one that you will be winning in today's giveaway. And this one sold for full asking price of $13.99 with free shipping. And again, it only cost me 23 cents. Next up, we're gonna turn right around and get some toys in this bag, I believe. I think I see it right here on top. This right here. So these are Vintage Micro Machines, a toy made by a discontinued company known as Galoob. I bought these in a bigger lot on Mercari and these probably cost me around two or three dollars and I took a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid for shipping. All right, we have some more micro machines. This time it's gonna be in this lot right here. And it's just gonna be two of them. So as you can see in this bag, I have a lot of them. I'm just selling them in lots of two. I think there's about like 10 or 15 sets of these. So these probably cost me like 50 cents and they sold for 650 plus shipping. Well, what do you know? Another 511 hat, another tan one. As you already know, these cost me 23 cents, and for this one, I took a best offer of $12 with free shipping. With these hats, since I have so many left, I think I have like over 1,300 left, and they cost me close to nothing, I accept almost every offer. Just try not to tell any of these buyers that, because I love it when somebody buys it for $14. All right, so we finally have something other than a hat or a toy, but trust me, we have a lot more on the way. It's in our electronics bin, if I could get this thing open. thing right here so this is a d-link wireless access port and no I have no idea what it is or what it does I bought this in October of last year for five dollars at the swap me so it has been sitting here for quite some time but it finally sold for a full asking price of $69.99 and the buyer paid for shipping as well it's pretty light too so it won't cost that much to ship out I don't buy many electronics but when I do I'm always trying to look out for like modems routers and anything that has to do with Wi-Fi and internet Okay, our next item is in this box right here. And I have a question. Does anybody else use the USPS boxes for storage? Because sometimes I feel like it's just better than buying one of the plastic ones. But anyways, these guys are here. So these are two large Bakugan figures from my most recent buy. These cost me a dollar each and they both sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, we are moving over to this toy bin. And we sold this big guy right here. So we got this large 12 inch thing marble figure. This was in a larger 90s toy lot that I bought off of Mercari, so it probably cost me around $2. And it sold for full asking price of $9.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. When I first saw this thing, I thought it was gonna be worth a lot more, but whatever, I'll take it. Can you guys guess what we sold? Yep, another hat. This time we're doing a blue one. 23 cents and this one was a best offer of $11.19, which really bothers me because it's not even, but whatever, money is money. All right, we're gonna head over to the toy shelf. It's another micro machine, and I do believe I see it right here on front. Yeah, it's this one right here. So this is a lot of micro machines from my second Mercari buy ever. This lot of 10 pie cost me around five or six dollars, and it sold for a whopping $39.99 plus shipping. A lot of my older lots I have listed pretty high, kind of like that one for $40. Now I'm listing 10 cars for around $25 to $30 but I guess I just never bothered to update the listings. Got another one here on the toy shelf. This time it's a Bakugan sale. This came from my very first Mercari buy of Bakugan. It cost me $6.72 and it sold for full asking price of $24.99 plus shipping. With the toys that you always see me sell, Bakugan and Micro Machines, I always source them on Mercari. And I'm always aiming for a dollar a piece, but sometimes I'll be able to get them for less. All right, for our next item, we're gonna head out to the garage. All right, it's like over 90 degrees here in California and I am sweating right now. 
So this is where I keep all of my hats. As you guys can see, I was not lying about how much I have left. All those boxes are full of hats. I just keep all my extra Amazon boxes and all the bigger and slower moving items in here. But anyways, we sold a Funko Pop and it is all the way up there. So let's go grab it. Alright, so this is a Gordon Hayward Funko Pop for all you Celtics fans out there. Bought this for a dollar and ninety-nine cents at the ninety-nine cent store, and it sold for eight dollars, and the buyer paid for shipping. Funko Pops were one of the first few things that I started to buy to resell, but then I soon realized that it wasn't really worth it. Not much return unless one of the Funko Pops you buy gets discontinued, and it's a pain in the butt to ship out since it's so fragile, and you gotta protect the box. But yeah, it's really hot in here. Let's get back inside. Almost done here guys, we got another Micro Machine sale from the same bag as earlier. Just gotta find which one and I believe it is this one. This time it's just a lot of eight, probably cost me around $3 and it sold for $30 plus shipping. Which is actually a lot for just eight of them, but yeah. And we're gonna end it here on the toy shelf. The toys have been killing it this video. We have a Bakugan sale to end things. I just gotta find it, which I just did. Just one figure cost me less than a dollar and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping, all by itself. It's really awesome when I can find these rare figures in those big lots that I buy in Mercari. Because I mean, it's just one figure and it sold for $14.99. That's pretty sweet. All right, and we have these two sales that are just waiting to be paid for. We have some rollerblades for $65 and a vintage lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for 40, which you can see right here. And then while we were recording, I also got another hat sale, two of the tan ones for 10.50 each, total of $21, but the buyer hasn't paid for that one either. By the time I'm done recording this video, if any of those get paid for, I'll be sure to update you guys. Oh, and just a little thing about these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I bought all of these off of Mercari for I think $25 and they've been sitting here for a long time. It's because most of them are in really bad condition. So I just lined them all up, and I guess if they sell for $40, I'll probably break even. I probably won't make that much off of it, but yeah, that was a mistake. I'll just stick to my Bakugan and Micro Machines. All right, so we have everything pulled right here on this table. Let's start packing everything. I will update you guys on a few things going on, and then we will pull the winner for the giveaway. All right, as I'm packing the items, the two just got paid for. So 46 cents and it sold for $21 with free shipping. All right, so we have everything packed and ready to go. All right, so you saw me pull 16 orders. Everything cost me a total of $30.55, and I made a net profit of $231.15. All right, so before we do the giveaway and before we end the video, I, I thought I would just update you guys on a few things that are going on right now. So I am still very much invested in sports cards. This is my new box for them. I'm real excited. The NBA playoffs are coming back. NFL season should be starting soon. I'm not sure about baseball. But I'm excited for sports to come back and for these cards to rise up in value and I can't wait to show you all the profit that I make off of these. As for thrift stores, I was able to hit up the Salvation Army yesterday. The one by my house finally opened back up. And let me show you the few things that I got. So we got this nice, I think it's a vintage Ralph Lauren Polo, extra large for $5.99. Another one that kind of looks exactly like it. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's a little bit of a brighter yellow. Rock on Polo, $5.99 as well. And then we got a nice Woolrich large flannel in really good condition for $5.99 as well. Since the Polos are really similar and they're both XL, I'm gonna lock those up in a two and I think I'm gonna ask $35 plus shipping. And then for the Woolrich flannel, I should be able to get around $30 to $40. Oh, and the Goodwill by my house should be opening on Friday. So I'm really excited to get back over there. Guys, and an even more exciting thing, if you've been watching my videos, you know about these guys right here. So as you can see, if I go over here, I just have one left. It is a Minka Air ceiling fan remote, and I've been selling these like crazy. And in every video, you guys are hearing me talk about how I want the store to open back up, so I can go over there and pick up as many as I can, and the store finally opened. 
So yeah, like I said, these are ceiling fan remotes and the receivers that go along with it made by Minka Air. Bought these at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. I picked up 25 of the remotes and 20 of the receivers for $65. So that works out to be like $1.44 each. So I'm gonna list some of the remotes by itself, some of the receivers by itself, and then I'll combine some. But the way I have it right now is I have the remotes listed for $21.99 with free shipping. The receivers are $31.99 with free shipping. And then when I combine them, I have them for $44.99 plus shipping. So yeah, there's a ton of profit to be made with those, especially when I only have $1.44 invested into each one. But yeah, I'm really stoked to be able to get my hands on those. When I went back over there, there wasn't as many as there were the last time I saw them because I think the store opened up about a week ago. I just didn't know about it. So somebody must have went in there and grabbed as many as they could as well. But I picked up as many as I can, and the next time I go, if I see any still laying around, I'll grab those as well. But yeah, I'm gonna work to get these photographed and listed, and then I'll update you guys in the next video. Hopefully we'll have some sales made. All right, and now the moment that you guys have all been waiting for, the giveaway that me and Danny May are doing. We had a lot of her subscribers come over to my channel and comment on, I think, the second to last video, and then I had some of you guys comment on the last video. What I'm gonna do is for all of you who commented, homie, on those videos, I'm gonna pull your name out, enter it onto my computer and then we'll draw a winner that way and yeah let's do it all right guys we have the giveaway wheel all set up i have all your names written down there's actually 32 of you guys which is a lot more than i thought this is for anybody that commented on my last two videos and got sent over by danny may um the winner will be getting a tan 511 hat so good luck to you guys and let's spin the wheel So Alan Thompson, you are the winner of the giveaway. I will be messaging Danny May and you, and we will get all that sorted out and get that sent out to you. So congratulations. All right, thank you to everybody who participated in the giveaway and congrats to you, Alan, for winning. If you didn't win, do not worry. I will be doing a giveaway for 100 subscribers and I think we're only like six away, so it should be within the upcoming weeks. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like as that would greatly help out my channel. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you wanna make me super duper happy and if you don't wanna miss the next video, hit that subscribe button. Like I mentioned, the Goodwill should be opening up this Friday. So in next week's video, you will finally be seeing some thrifting and sourcing. But yeah, that's it. All right, I'll see you guys next week. As you guys all already know, these cost me 23 cents and this one sold for full asking price of $13.99. Oh wait, no it didn't. Got it out with half and I flipped it in a double. Got it out with half and I flipped it in a double.